looks like it might see you. <laughs> oh my God, we're in like two and a half feet of water here. It's super low. Somewhere out there is Captain Peabreak. Oh, revenge, revenge, Wayne, revenge. Hey, welcome to another vlog and today is going to be uh, a CBU Life Adventure. I don't know what episode it is now because I'm losing count, but it's a beautiful day. It's a Wednesday, I can tell you that. Clear blue skies and we're down here at the uh, Sand Boy Marina, which is located at Long Point. And as you can tell behind me, we have two skis. Uh, my friend Wayne's going to be on this one, he's going to be on mine, and I'm taking this one out today because I'm actually going to be making two videos here today. I'm going to be making a review video, or part of a review video for the GTX uh, Limited, which will be on another video. So we won't be talking too much about the actual machine in this video, uh, that'll be on a separate one. Uh, so join us on uh, today's adventure. It's actually quite a nice little marina this. Nice little shop inside, a little cafe as well. I'll probably check that out on the way home a little bit more. But on, right now we're just making our way out onto the, uh, the main body of water. Wayne's on my sea do He's never ridden one before. I only just found that out. So a little bit of a practice out here, then we'll be on our way. And I'm on this one, which, uh, oh gee. I need to shut that off. All right, off on another adventure. We just left the marina. I shut the Bluetooth off so the music shuts up. And uh, we're going to check out um, Long Point.
<laughs> hey, we can put two boys together, you just gotta play stupid games, right? Alright, from quite a distance away, I thought I saw boats. It turns out, it's just shrubbery. Further up by the way, we'll get closer. It's just grass sticking out of the water. Uh, we're currently at about four and a half feet here, so it is really shallow. So just riding along, and all of a sudden, grass like that, and uh, the log over there sticking out as well. So we slowed right down and uh, just gonna crawl around this point. There's actually a couple of buildings over here. I think this is part of the uh, conservation area, all this bit. The wildlife conservation area so we're just going to make our way towards that boat and then cut around the corner and hopefully the lighthouse isn't too far away you know me i like a nice lighthouse just stop for the usual uh break today's tea break i'm not having a coffee today because i'm with wayne and drain wayne doesn't drink uh coffee so i brought tea today so we're having tea where's the biscuit off oh, and i forgot the biscuits I, that's the only thing that's missing hey you got a granola bar in your cooler <laughs> I got pistachio nuts. There you go. There. Now I just got some nuts. <laughs> There's nothing here to see. It's just water and green, marshy land. It's a bit like the Carolinas um, as you make your way into a Pimlico Sound uh, down by uh, the Outer Banks. Reminds me of that a little bit. Having to just crawl around here, um, the water's very shallow. Uh, we're about four or five feet. It looks like we can see a sandbank. Which stretches all the way from there, all the way around, all the way around. But it goes blue over there at the point. So, oh, I can see the lighthouse. The lighthouse, way down there. So hopefully we can cut through that thing and then uh, make our way down to the lighthouse. Oh yeah, I can see grass sticking up over there. Keep away. <laughs> Oh my god, we're in like two and a half feet of water here. It's super low, but it's all sand. I don't see any uh, weeds, stones, so it uh, looks like it should get deeper any minute. Oh, 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 are we getting deeper? Yep, there we go. It's starting to get deeper now. Oh, yeah, gone. Right, the lighthouse is just down there. Right, we're pretty close to it. What I'm going to try and do, I can see sand. So I'm going to see if we can actually get the sea dews up there and just uh, put it on the beach so we can have a little walk around. It's all sand, definitely all sand down here. Actually looks better over this end, a little calmer. If not, I could sandbag this here. It's two feet. It's a nice tree there to tie onto actually. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. We're gonna bank it right here. Go on, just bring me in, bring me in, bring me in, bring me in. That ain't going anywhere. Made it to the lighthouse. I believe it's another decommissioned one. It's got solar to it. Huh? It's got solar to it. Well, someone told me it was decommissioned. I have to read up on I that. Mean, like, oh, no, it's the one at Dunville that's decommissioned. Maybe this one's still open then. This one still works. Maybe it's the Dunville one they were telling me that it was decommissioned. Well, oh, maybe this lighthouse still is in use. I'm going to have to look at this when I uh, get home and Google it and tell you later. Because there is solar panels here. There's a TV aerial on the back. <laughs> God, I feel like I'm on a desert island. Oh, 
Oh, is this Canada? Is it obviously in Canada? Oh, there's America right over there. <laughs> it's the American uh, coastline. I better get some wicked storms here because we're so exposed on Lake Erie. This is the back end of it. Oh, that wasn't good. What? Yeah. Got a bit close to the sand there. Look at that. What a great lighthouse. So we're at the, uh, the tip of uh, Long Point. We didn't see much on the way up here. It's very barren. And now we're, it's all sand along here. A uh, little swampy uh, ponds, which are, and a big pile of rubble. So something's been uh, demolished over there. And that's really it. I can tell you the lighthouse is still in use. Um, it became automated quite a few years ago. Uh, the actual lighthouse was built in 1916. It is the third lighthouse to be built in this particular area. And this is the one that's currently standing, oh, yeah, which like I just said was built in 1916. Uh, the white flash of the light is every eight seconds, but it is reported that every four flash is emitted due to a broken prism in the lens. Couple of boats. Way over there is uh, the Nanticoke steel plant. Uh, Crystal Beach, Port Coburn is way along that way. Probably about 60 kilometers, 70 kilometers, maybe even further. We came from all the way down there and round there. It's probably about a good 40 kilometer ride to here. It's nice. Now I wonder why they have three uh, layers here. Oh, I guess you could land the helicopter here, if need be. Could have been a helipad. There is yellow painting around it. Yeah. See all these markings on the ground. Make it look like a maybe a fence or a gate or something had been here. Up here. Which I presume that would have been a helipad. We're gonna guess a helipad. So maybe we'll find some photographs on Google later on and I'll add them on. And uh, I'll tell you a bit more about it. But yeah there isn't much information on this particular lighthouse i could find on google uh, but i do know it is not a helipad all right we found a lighthouse on with the adventure i guess there's a step at the back for jumping on <laughs> it helps for getting back on Hoppity hoppity! <laughs> oh, that might work. There we go. That's <sighs> yeah, deep enough here. Place for uh, motorbike riders, Harleys, and shit like that. 
So uh, exactly, like I said, on Friday the 13th, whatever the month it falls on, this place is swamped with thousands and thousands of bikers from all over Ontario, upstate New York, Pennsylvania, from all over the place. And they just, they just come down here for the day. Really weird. There's a couple of food places I've seen. Uh, maybe I have to come back here and tie up, but there is a sign that says no dock in particular there. But I think we could probably dock further back. But uh, I'm gonna have a little nosy up here. These nice uh, apartments overlooking the water. How cool is that? I'll have a nosy up here. Oh, it looks like they've used part of a ship to make a building here. It's kind of cool. Oh, it's the Harbour Museum. They've taken that from something and used it. All right, just moored up there. I don't know what we're meant to, so Wayne's going to keep an eye on it. I'm going to try and order some food from this shack and we'll eat it on the sea do see what they have yeah look at that burger what's they got hamburger cheeseburger all right the last place was cash only so this place takes debit and the menu looks better it looks nice so order a woolly burger all right. Lunch on the water right here. Now, further down there, does say no docking, but we came up to this bit and we don't see any signs that say no docking once you get past where this boat would be. So we just hopped over there, a couple of places, a couple of diners to get some food from. Uh, spot of lunch, and then we'll head back the water, head, uh, head back on the water again. Cheers. Uh, straight down there, can't see it just yet, but somewhere out there is, Lo is Turkey Point, and where we started at Long Point is beyond that. So it's probably about 30 kilometers down the coastline to where we actually started from. So basically, we've done a triangle. Check this out, check this place out here. What is that place? Oh my Lord. I just quickly looked on Google and uh, it doesn't really show much. It's a massive property. Uh, I don't know if it's a golf, I don't think it's a golf course. It's very shallow here, so I can't go any further. A lot of uh, people working here. A lot of jet skis over there. One, two, three, four jet skis over here. What an amazing place. Need to find out whether it's something, it's a resort or is it just someone's house? That's amazing. Oh, young girl getting on the jet ski over here. Checking it out. Maybe it is a resort, unless they're just very, very wealthy people. If they are, good for them. Good for them. Very nice. Another beautiful house there and property. That's someone up there, can't tell. Yep, someone on top of the garden walking around. Now, looking around, it's all, uh, it's a very soft clay, sandy kind of cliff everywhere, stretches all around here. So this has been modified somehow, but at some point it will erode. I mean, I know they built a wall up, but uh, how much will it withstand? I mean, this really does take a beat in this part of the water because it is shallow. And 
there's a lot of storms along here. So there's a lot of storm erosion along here, surely. But it's kind of neat to see these little cliff ends. You can see where it's all eroded completely. Trees were once there, now falling down into here. Quite the uh, the erosion here. Oh, the water's nice and clear though. A couple of rocks, just be careful. Uh, random rocks in the uh, lake, but not many. But yeah, I just found that quite interesting. Some holes in the uh, cliff there, and uh, swallows have been nesting here. There's quite a few over there as well where the swallows have come, been coming in and out. Of course, now I'm filming, none of them come out. But when I was here, just watching before I started filming, they were there. Typical. All right, this we believe is uh, Turkey Point. A uh, very popular beach, a lot of people, a few boats here. Water's still nice here, but a nice stretch of beach as well. I like that. It's a nice long beach. Even though Crystal Beach is a nice beach, it's just uh, very short. There's not much to it. But this is a nice long beach. Look at that. But very narrow. Just on and on and on, all the way up there. On and 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 on. We're back in the very shallow water again, trying to find our way back to where we came from. It's only a meter deep here, so uh, about three feet. And we did know on the way up there was a few sandbars, so we gotta be careful that we don't run into them. And then we also gotta go through all that tall grass again, the weeds. But there are boats out there, so it can't be that bad all over. So basically what we did today, we started off somewhere way down there, way down there the coastline all the way along all the way along as far as the eye can see in fact you can't you should can't just about work it out the lighthouse is way on the horizon and then we zip right across the water here close to where nanticoke is and port dover and then we came on the coast here so basically we did a triangle somewhere out there is captain p break i'm in front of a p again I know if I just said that. See, Captain P break again. <laughs> oh, he's fast. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, he went right to the end and got me. <laughs> oh, you swine. All the grass everywhere. Gotta be careful here now. Ooh. Oh, that tasted nice. So I stayed dry all the, the whole ride. Oh, revenge, revenge, Wayne, revenge. All right, we're back uh, at the marina, Sandboy Marina. Um, a lot of, lot of tall weeds here, so I just gotta be careful going in. I hope for the best. Uh, we should be docking in a couple of minutes. It was a good ride, it wasn't the best adventure. So I did enjoy the lighthouse, Port Dover was quite nice, and the ride over, flew around. But overall, it's, it's pretty boring at Long Point. I don't think I'll do it again. 
actually, I definitely won't be doing it again. But I might check out Turkey Point one day, but I won't come to Long Point. <laughs>